Today's chili is going to be delicious. And as you can see, I have three pounds of 8515. You can use 8020, 8515, or 9010. Uh, they had 8515 on sale today, so I bought three pounds of that. So that's what we're going with. Uh, I usually use a mixture of different beans. I have black beans and red beans today. So I'm going to be doing that mixture. Sometimes I throw some pinto beans in it and kidney beans as well. Big can of diced tomatoes. There's the chili powder that we made in the glass bowl. And the secret ingredient is Hershey's cocoa. I'm using dark. You can use non-dark. Either one will work. I just happen to have the dark on hand. And you can make this recipe in the crock pot, the instant pot, and I'll give recipes in the notes, or on the stove top. So any way of three ways. Of course, the instant pot's gonna be the quickest way. As I'm starting in the morning, I'm just going the crock pot method, slow and easy. And we'll be going to the next step in just a minute. We are now making the chili powder for tonight. I toasted up some chilies. I couldn't find exactly the ones I needed at the store. I'm going with hatch peppers. I think they'll be pretty good. They're from, uh, they're dried hatch peppers from New Mexico. Uh, there's three or four different kinds of peppers you can use. It's better to have a mixture of them, but I think it's gonna be much better than, uh, than the chili powder that's pre-dried like this. Uh, it's gonna be much better. So we're putting the chili powder in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, coriander. I want it non-ground coriander, but couldn't find that in the spice section at my local store this morning either. So uh, it's going with pre-ground. It's fresh, just put the seal on it. I think it'll be good. I'm putting in a probably about a tablespoon of oregano. Now it's probably about two teaspoons of the, the uh, coriander. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of uh, ground paprika, whatever paprika you have. Probably about a tablespoon of uh, cumin. A more cumin than normal, very strong. Need it in here, so I'm a little more. And the secret ingredient is we are putting some tortilla rounds in there to ground in with it. Just to kind of help it grind it up and give it I don't know, maybe about two to three ounces of uh, chips. It will challenge you sometimes with a food processor. And here we go. Just going to grind it up. We've got some more grind to do. Have to break it up. It's still too rough. Got a lot more grinding to do. It's ground down now to the level I want it. It was a little chunkier than I wanted. It would have worked, but I pulled out my old coffee grinder that I use for a spice grinder and finished it down a little finer than I wanted. Could have done it by hand, or could have just kept working with this a long time, but this was much quicker. After I got it down pretty chunky, this finished it off real quick in, in small batches. You can see this bow I have here. Inside of it, I have two tablespoons of water with two teaspoons full of salt. Use whatever salt you want. I have Himalayan pink salt in there. And one, teaspoonful of baking soda. And shout out to uh, American Test Kitchen. They're the ones who gave me this idea of uh, this. They do a lot of tests and so forth, and this helps brown the meat. So uh, I've tried it once or twice. Uh, I can't swear by it. It gets brown, but it gets brown without it. But they swear that it gets a little browner, and uh, I love that show, and I believe that they do some pretty good science and some pretty good uh, different experiments, and I think they steer you straight. So I don't think it's a wise tale. So I'm gonna mix this 
in there and let it all absorb into the meat. And as you see, I'm using my nitrate gloves, which I'll be disposing of after this. So everything will be sanitary. My hands, even though I'll wash them still as well. But this is just for family anyway, and it's gonna be cooking for quite a while, and any bacteria that's gonna be in it's gonna be killed anyway. Don't worry about cross contamination. Gotta be careful of that, even in a home kitchen. So there we go, and we'll be back with you pretty shortly. Okay, I'm back with you. Uh, I'm now beginning to brown the meat up. Uh, just want to find. I'll use this wooden spoon. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of meat in this pan. I am crowding a little bit, which is going to make it a little more challenging on the browning. But since we use that method, we should be good. Uh, and we got a little fat, being it's 85.15, and so we're just going to brown this meat up good. And once we do, we'll be adding some of the other ingredients, an onion to it, and, uh, and going from there. So stay tuned. Okay, we've been browning for about five to seven minutes, and it's coming together real nice. Not quite all the way there, but it's browning up good. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the onions, green peppers. Green peppers are completely optional. Uh, I would hope you like onions, because onions are cute and chilly. I wouldn't call them optional, but I guess it could be if you didn't like them. I guess you could just go with green chilies if you didn't like onions. But we like both, so we're going to go with both tonight. Sometimes we don't have peppers. We actually have colored peppers too, and that works as well, but I'm just going with the green peppers. That was only about, that was a large green pepper, probably about half of one. And that is, uh, with smaller onions, that's one and a half onion, since they were smaller. I'm gonna let these, well, saute for a little bit. And then we're gonna put it around a little more. And then we're gonna add it to the uh, crock pot. And start adding the seasoning. Okay, we finished browning it, and we're now putting it into our crock pot. Uh, plug in the crock pot on quite yet. Put it, put on. Well, I'm gonna start so I just have this in my hand with a couple of bay leaves. I'll like bay leaves a lot of things. So that's two whole bay leaves. Then we're gonna add all of the uh, mixture of the chili chili pot homemade chili powder we made earlier to it and stir that in generously. Well, we can wait just a few minutes. We're gonna add a little bit of ground garlic pepper and a little bit, we didn't have any salt, so we're gonna put a little bit of garlic salt. Cracked pepper. Okay, now one of the secret ingredients here the Hershey's cocoa. I'm using special dark, you don't have to use dark. Any cocoa powder you have on hand will work. I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate dry mixture fairly good before I start adding the tomatoes and everything. Okay, it's in there. Incorporate it pretty good right now. I'm now gonna add in a can diced tomatoes. This is a large can of diced tomatoes. These are small diced tomatoes, 28 ounces. Pretty good. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to start adding the beans. Doesn't matter which order. I'm starting with dark, and with the juices as well. The dark beans first. Those are sticking in there, so I'm going to use my spoon. These red beans with the chili, called chili beans, they actually have a pretty flavorful little sauce with them that kind of helps a little bit with the flavor of the chili. I mean, I, I wouldn't eat them straight out of the can. I don't think they're that good, but they're good for a, doc, a little doctoring up. They're good in chili. Not a shot called chili beans, I guess. But 
I use pinto beans, I use uh, kidney beans, the dark and the light. So whatever beans I have on hand. So now we're gonna put this, since it's about 12.20 here, I think we're gonna be good for dinner, just on low. That'll be about, give us about six hours of cooking. So I'm gonna cook it on low and we will see you on the next step. Okay, our chili's been in the crock pot all day. Just came and looked at it a couple times and stirred it. I did about an hour ago or so uh, add two ingredients, which uh, I do sometimes close to the end. Uh, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire and about two tablespoons of ketchup. We just like adds a little bit of sweetness to it. Some people just put a tablespoon of sugar in it. That's fine too. But I like the ketchup. Like it, like it a little adds a little tomatoiness to it, and uh, and and the sweetness at the same time. But you can do either one. You can do a little Worcestershire and a little sugar or a little ketchup, whichever you prefer. And it's not it's a not a real overly tomatoey type chili, but it's uh, you know it does have tomatoes in it and the beans. So it's going to be delicious. Uh, we'll be plating it up soon or bowling it up and be showing you that. Here's the finished product, serving it up. As you can see with the works. I like it with some tortilla chips, uh, cilantro, some extra diced onions, some fresh jalapenos, and some cheese. 